we know there are three phases of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. Today we're going to talk about gases and the different properties of gases. First of all, gases take up space. And gases have mass, they weigh something, and gases push against things, and we call that pressure. And with air, we call it air pressure. Air is a kind of gas, made up of a lot of different kinds of gases. Heating up gas increases the pressure and the volume. And cooling down the gases decreases the pressure and the volume. And gases can be compressed or expanded. Not like solids. Solids cannot be compressed or expanded. They can be, uh, they can be broken apart, but gases can be pushed or expanded. Now we're going to try to demonstrate these things today. So that first, we'll take a, we know that to show the gases take up space, we're going to blow up this balloon. The carbon dioxide gas that I'm breathing out pushes against the side walls of this balloon and blows it up. I just let out the gas. Now, I'm going to put this, get, this balloon on top of this flask. Okay? I put it on top of this flask. Now, I'm going to heat up this flask, which is going to heat up the air in this glass jar. And as the air heats up, it's going to blow up this balloon. And we're going to set it right here on this hot plate, which is about 200 degrees Celsius, to heat up the gas. And as and we'll see, we'll look at it later to see if this balloon has expanded. Now, to show that gases uh, e exert a pressure, and uh, we are going to do an experiment with the uh, with the water. So, first, I take a plain white piece of paper, wrinkle it, I wrinkle it up. I stuff it into this glass jar, glass cup, and I'm going to push it straight down onto the water. This is a tub filled with water, by the way. I'm going to push it straight down on the water, and we'll see what happens. Do you think the paper gets wet or not? I have pushed it all the way to the bottom. The paper, if the paper is going to get wet, it should be wet by now. So I lift it up, and the paper, as you can see, is completely dry meaning that no water went into the glass. The glass was filled with air from this atmosphere that we live in, this, this room. It's in the, it has a certain pressure. Now when I push the glass straight down onto the water, what happens is the air is pushing down on the water, and the water then wants to push up into the glass, but it can't because there's air in the glass, which is the same pressure as the air outside in the room. So it cannot push up into the glass. However, if I provide a way for the air to get out, I have a tube here, I put the tube up into the glass, and if the air can get out by following, going through the tube all the way to the end, the air will get out and the water will get in. The water will push up against the air that's in the glass and push it out of the tube. And you can see that because if I close this tube with my thumb and lift it up, lift up the glass, you can see that there was water in the glass, and that's how it happens. So we know that the gas, gases can be pushed and moved around, and they also push back against things. And that's called pressure. Now here I have a candle. We know that fire has to burn oxygen in order to live. If you take away the oxygen, the fire will die out. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put this glass on top of the candle with the candle empty. We remember before that the gas was in the glass and was pushing against the water, and so no water could get up into the glass. So we're just going to leave that there for a second or two, and you will see, oh, look over here. This balloon is expanding because the air pressure in here is getting more because it's heating up. So that's showing us that the heating of the gas increases the pressure in the volume. Now, look over here. The gas did not, the air did not go up, I mean the water did not go up into the glass cup, as we saw before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to light the candle. And as I light the candle, you will see the candle is burning oxygen. Oxygen, which is in this cup. 
And when it burns up the oxygen in this cup, when there's no more oxygen in this cup, the, the candle will die out. Now the air is full up with several different kinds of gases, not just oxygen. So it doesn't have to burn up all the gas, just the oxygen that's in the gas. So I put the cup on top of the, the candle, and the water will start to rise as the candle burns up the oxygen. It burns up the oxygen, there's the water rising. See? The water has just risen up into the glass. See? Do we need to do that again? 